Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Kaji Data Online. In this video, we are going to discuss and explore about USB lithium ion or nickel metal hydrate battery charger. So I have here is the model, the original model of the XTAR. So the functions of this module is to charge my battery. So I have here is 4800 mAh battery this is a uh, quite not good battery actually it is not past my uh, experiment before so you can check it out the item in the descriptions of this video so let me just uh, share with you the experience of using this extra i think this is one of the uh, most reliable battery charger however the price is quite significant and if you plan to invest on it i may recommend you to do that because it is very portable and then uh, they have uh, include this particular wire so this wire is very useful especially if you want to uh, do it uh, in terms of portability so if you want to charge it using the power bank and so on you can do that and then they have a very nice uh, power jack over there as the input 5 volt and 2.1 ampere and then you can connect this um, cable the original cable XTAR into your um, battery charging or your output module uh, from your charger so they have the lcd over here you can see uh, they have four port or four channel one two three four and then this channel are very useful if you want to understand whether uh, there is some input or there is no input with regard to the um, insertion of your uh, battery okay so let me just use this one battery uh, this is the battery of the sizes six uh, um, 18650 so we can use for other models also as indicated here we can see there are a lot of model that are also applicable to be used um, uh, according to the different sizes so in this case I may want to use this one lithium ion battery okay so when we insert it then they will have the um, functions over here to start charging up your lithium ion battery so this one is actually already dead uh, due to the fact of my experiment uh, before and then uh, this one is already full charge I just want to recheck whether it is already full charge or not or oh, actually all the battery are fully charged so when there is a fully charged battery they will indicate a full over here and then they will show the uh, nominal current that already being uh, supplied inside the battery so this one is 4.2 nominal current a nominal voltage and then this one can be used uh, later on okay so on the channel number four over here we can see uh, the, the nominal voltage is approximate 4.15 and then it is still charging a little bit uh, but actually uh, all those four are already um, fully charged using this cheap uh, charger before but of course I just want to uh, simulate it to you to give an idea about using this VC uh, for actually they have two model vc2 for the two load or two batteries and then they got the vc4 so the price is equivalent more than 60 ringgit i think in malaysia ringgit or approximate more than uh, 15 dollars but of course less than 20 dollars so you can uh, buy it in any online seller so when you buy the original one they will give you this uh, very nice uh, pouch so this pouch are very useful for you I bought together with the original battery so this is the original battery uh, from Sony so it is equivalent uh, to deliver uh, approximate 3600 and then if you find out the video also before I already explained that I'm conducting currently an experiment to understand um, the current and also the capacity of the battery which is I can share with you later on okay so inside the porch over here they got uh, they give you this instruction manual where you can um, have a look and then read all through it Okay, so um, that is sum up everything. So as a bonus So let me just share with you an idea uh, about my setup that I mentioned to you So that is my setup for the ESP module. So that one is ESP 01 module equipped with the uh, Battery that I mentioned to you before the expensive battery that I have and then um, we are going to see it inside the ThingSpeak. So let me just share with you also the ThingSpeak um, platform so that you can have a look how I test my battery at a glimpse. 
okay so my battery are actually being tested at this uh, particular website so you can have a look and also see uh, the item so the channel that I uh, monitor the environmental conditions of my room uh, will be as follows we start uh, around um, yesterday around 12 um, o'clock in the morning and then now is around 6 p.m. so we hope that uh, this one can be uh, last long for uh, how long is it take so now is 1020 data it has been locked for one minute each so we shall see the future video about exploring this thing so that all for my video uh, according to this review of the XTAR VC4 um, charging module so hopefully you find uh, this video useful our Malaysian friend if you uh, find this video and then you want to purchase uh, the item that what I purchased you can go to Shopee uh, I will attach the link on the descriptions of this video please do consider um, choosing the appropriate original uh, product as you know that this product also already been counterfeit by a few manufacturer but the link that I share with you is a genuine seller so you can buy from him and then you can also consult him for any regarding the charging battery until then uh, see you again next time and thank you for watching this video if you feel this video is very useful please consider to give your comment and idea and experience about a uh, different charging module for the uh, 18650 battery module until then thank you very much like share and subscribe bye bye